has been in Africa for many, many decades and, in fact, um, has been known as the largest private employer in the continent, the entire Coca-Cola system, that is. The success of Coca-Cola, is that merely because you have a product with a low price point, or is there more to it than that? How has the organization been able to sustain itself and grow here in the developing world? Well, I mean, there's a lot more to it. Um, I, I think one of the key things that has been very, very important is the fact that the franchise system means that you're working with local nationals and local investors. And I have a particular hobby horse about, about that issue. And it, this is not just relevant, obviously, to, to Africa. Um, but the, the involvement of local people in terms of developing the business is, I think, fundamentally important. And if you apply that, I mean, I, I, I've said this at the, at the UN, that the failure of development efforts, the failure of businesses, is that we, we keep coming in and saying, we're, we're going to do this for you. What we're actually doing is we're doing it to you. And the franchise system means that you're doing it with you. And I, I mean, I, I work with NGOs. I'm on five, in, five different NGO boards, in term, including the World Wildlife Fund. And as I look at failed efforts, I look at successful efforts, it's where they've gone down with grassroots, with community involvement, understanding their perceptions, their reality, marrying that with the skills and expertise that you get successful pro uh, projects. That's how you also get successful businesses. That's how you also get my sort of view of the new capitalism that's needed to, to move Africa ahead.